Hey everybody, this is Corey Salter True Floyd, and this is the Marry Me Junkies podcast. Today, our special guest is Tranquil Ashes. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have a good time. I've got Demon Engine with me. It is the Marry Me Junkies. Let's go. Boom. Love that intro. Uh, hey, guys, we're the Marry Me Junkies podcast. My, co- my co-chair, the man behind the lens, Demon yeah. Engine. Hello, everybody. I'm here. It's just it's just a mess. I now, I am now a proud parent of a fur baby. And <laughs> Rico the dog, everyone. Doing the most. <laughs> Uh, we definitely have comic books in the building. He's definitely going to be popping in. Uh, but right now, we're here with Tranquil Ashes. Hi, hey. You wear a lot of hats. <sighs> I do. Cosplayer, makeup artist, dancer, so yeah. many. <laughs> I do. I do. I'm tired. I'm real tired. <laughs> definitely one of the definitely working hard and definitely not hardly working but we're going to sit down we're going to get a chance to learn a little bit more about you today and i love these interviews i tell you <laughs> one of my one of my personal favorites i always like to start with everybody tell me about your first convention ooh ah oh, man um long time ago i've been going since i was like a little babu um I, I, uh, my first convention was Otakon. So mm. I've always gone to big conventions. Like my very first one was one of the biggest ones on the East Coast at the time. I think it still is pretty, pretty big or on the top 10 at least <laughs> of attendees um, for anime conventions specifically. But that was my first one. And like I fell in love immediately. My first big con was Otakon, and it, I think it was 2007. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back when it was in Baltimore. <laughs> yes. Don't get me wrong. I like D.C., but it was mm, yeah. Baltimore. It's not the same. It's not the same. Definitely not, especially <laughs> when it comes to hotel prices. <laughs> oh, my God, the hotel prices. All those high-ass prices for no pool. <laughs> yeah, for no <laughs> you're not wrong. Yes, and no no. Either. It's There's hot down there too. It is. So like, it is. Why it is it like one hotel with a pool here? It's <laughs> Listen, the, 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 at least at least in DC, when Otakon's happening, uh, Congress and everything is on vacation. Because <laughs> last thing I need is Mitch McConnell looking scared because. Right. Because someone dressed as pedo bears chasing him down. No oh, man. Oh man. <laughs> rough. It's rough out here. <laughs> I I would pay to see that. <laughs> fair. That's fair. At least we know AOC and Bernie Sanders would actually show up to the convention. That's fair. Bernie, Bernie Sanders would have us, a great time. My, I, I watched the first anime. It was Astro Boy. It was in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> He has been around for a while. <laughs> All right. So uh, you're also an amazing makeup artist as well. Thank you. Uh, what edu- uh, ed- educational training is that? Where'd you go? Uh, nowhere. The school of YouTube. Oh. Um, and oh. the, school, <laughs> the school of just practice until it works, basically. Um I was living in Japan at the time and I had free time. And during that free time, I started a YouTube channel. Don't look for the videos. They're all privated, all of them. Um, And I did a lot of practicing. Um, I entered a lot of makeup contests, won them, built my kit, and then came back to the U.S. and started doing it freelance. Hey, all right. Hey. There we go. It's the biggest boast, the comic boast. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How you? How you been? <laughs> okay. Okay. So you spent some time over in Japan. Where? Uh, where and how long? 
Kurobeshi to Yamaken. It's about three hours away from Tokyo for, by like train, which is called Shinkansen over there. Mm -hmm. um, and I lived there for two and a half years. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'd say what? she 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 got she remembers more of the lingo because I I could I I spent what a couple weeks in the mountain mountain region. But that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What what made you come back? Uh a lot of things. It was it was kind of like a feeling. Also, you know, on a little sadder note, my father got sick, so I came back. Mm -hmm. Family. Yeah. Yeah, family, you know. So that was pretty much it. Otherwise, I I probably would have been there a few more years. Okay. Yeah. When did you realize when did you realize you were a geek? Ooh, uh to be honest, sometimes I don't feel like I remember like much wow. before that. Like I don't I don't remember. <laughs> I don't rem like you know when you were like a kid, like four, three or four, like like little stuff. Like you remember, like when you go out and play or like foods and stuff like that. But like in terms of like real hardcore memories, I feel like being a nerd has always been a part of it in some capacity. And I think it just got bigger the older I got. Okay. First anime you uh, that. First anime where you were like, yo, I need more of this. Um, very, very stereotypical answer, Sailor Moon. Um, <laughs> and to be fair, I was watching Pokemon and card captors, not realizing that they were anime because they were on like Fox Kids or something yeah. like yeah. in the morning. So they were on like a regular cartoon channel with everything else that I would watch. Mm. So I thought they were just really unique <laughs> cartoons that like, especially Pokemon with as bright and happy as it is, that's a very American like thing for a cartoon. So I thought I was just watching cartoons and then I saw Sailor Moon and I was like, wait a minute, this isn't, this is Japanese? <laughs> and then that's when I found out Car Captors was Japanese and Pokemon was Japanese and Escaflone was Japanese. All these Fox that's Kids. Yeah. Yeah. All those, you know, Fox Kids animes that came on that I thought were regular cartoons at first. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love how Esca yo, Escaflone gets bought up so much, doesn't it? <laughs> yo, Escaflone was was dope I, back then, yo. I yo, I did not real yo, that anime had a lot more impact than I thought. Oh, Me it did. too. That's <laughs> it. Cause Damn. It, was, it was like you had a lot of genres like mixed up into Escaflone. Escaflone was like your like Isekai and it was your your mech anime too. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you had your action and you had your love story. There was a lot wrapped up in like Escaflone. So I think that's why like it hit so many people because it's like there's something in this anime for everybody. Right, right. Uh, so so uh, are you watching anything right now? <sighs> I am, but like at a snail's pace. Um, like I have been telling everyone, I was like, once I'm done with like certain events, I'll have like more time to just like binge watch crazy amounts of like anime like i'm still trying to finish up the first season that jujitsu kai is in but i love mm -hmm. it but I'm, st I'm still working on it thanks, okay. thanks, thanks. You know, um i did finish spy family i enjoy spy family quite a lot yeah um, it was cute and it was short so i could like bang it out in one day <laughs> real quick um what else am i watching i gotta catch up on my hero <gasps> academia mm. Don't, don't, um, don't, other don't, than that, I'm just that I'm way. very open to new shows. I'm actually extremely excited for Game of Thrones this Sunday. So, really? Mm. Oh, I'm a big fantasy head, man. Fantasy nut. Like nut. Same. Same. <laughs> Wait, is she Hulk coming out today? Uh, today. Yeah. Is it she today? Oh wow. She Hulk, okay. Yeah. She Hulk is out today. Oh wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, I still think it's funny how uh, Matt's like the statement Matt Smith made uh, last week. He was just like, uh, I feel like there's too many sex scenes in Game of Thrones. It's like, 
bro, do, do you not understand the assignment here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he not watch it? Right. Yeah. Did you not see the first show or read the book? Right. Like, right. my man, the first episode kind of tells you how be- how wild this show can get. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you have like incest and, and then you right. fling a child. You flew a ch- yeah, you flung a child out of a window. That's episode one. So it's like whatever rules you thought this was gonna have should have just absolutely exited exited the window. I'm like, we're talking about a medieval type fantasy. Do you remember our medieval ages? It was crazy. Right. Yeah. It was bad. It I would was say good. <laughs> I'm gonna call it their medieval ages because that is not. I I, I oh, don't. You'd be surprised. I, 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 I need I, I need to research what was happening in our melanin regions during these times. Oh well, that's fair. That's fair. That's I fair. have a weird feeling that it's not as wild. Might be some wildness, but not as wild. I would say. Not as territorial. Okay. We kind of we kind of keep our stuff right. Yep. Here, like you know, yep. I'm fighting with y'all, not y'all, your mom, your cow, your doll, your cousin, <laughs> everybody else related to you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think that's kind of what it was. Um, but <laughs> that's another podcast. I can get all <laughs> that. It's another podcast. And, and, and listen, we will be here. For for it. <laughs> I was about to jump down a rabbit hole with you just now. I'm like, nope, bring it back. Yeah, bring I'm it like, back. <laughs> back all the way back. But yes, I'm super excited for House of the Dragon. I might even start my YouTube channel back up for that show. We'll see. Oh, we'll snap. See. We'll see. What you gonna do? Like a like a talk after every episode? Yeah, like our reactions, like reactions, and like um, maybe even going lives, doing lives after the show. Um, just because I feel like I missed that train the first time around, right. and I'm trying to be on that train this time around. Okay. So you know, because it's my, it's like fantasy is probably even before anime. I would say right. fantasy got mm-hmm. in because, like, you know, I wanted to be Xena. You know, I still want to be Xena. Hey, right. <laughs> I still want to be Xena, but you know, Xena started. <laughs> <in the movie>. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, like per, exactly. So, like, how could you not want to be like, like Xena was so ahead of its time, like yeah. so incredibly ahead of its time. Like, yeah. Man, uh, oh, uh, I, that is also another podcast. Moving on. Yeah, Xena. Yeah, Xena was better than Hercules. Once Xena oh. hit the scene, it was. It was over. It was, it was, over. Over. It was over. As over. long as they kept Ares around, I was perfectly fine. That was. <laughs> No, that was like my favorite character because he literally threw his lightning like dice. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, ha, 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 yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Actually, you're right. He did. I forgot. But yeah, he was like, yeah. He was also lovely eye candy. So, yes. Sure. <laughs> yes. Have you, have you done a Xena cosplay yet? No, she's on my dream cosplay list. Like, you know, as 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 uh, outgoing as I am, I sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. Like you know, like this, like when it's like your dream one, like it's just like, oh man, I have to get all the perfect materials. I have to get all of the things, and it has to be perfect when I do it. But I do plan on being Zena. Okay, tell me about your very first cosplay. Oh man. Gotta go back. Um, so I was cosplaying like for fun every now and again before I was cosplaying, I guess, for real. Um, and it was at my first Otacon. Um, and I did a really like small closet version of Erd from All oh My Goddess. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, okay. A, it's super niche. <laughs> it's just a super and super harem. It's a harem in it. No, oh, I, really? I, I recall it. I recall I, it. I, I do not. I must uh, look into this one. About to say, yeah. listen, sometimes <laughs> closet cosplays go hard. They do. They like, I, No, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I just um, saw, <laughs> I think on our Instagram, we have a cosplayer who did the character from Golden Boy. 
and oh, he nice. and and he had it from head to toe. And I was like, yo, I was like, I was like, I was like, I don't even think a lot of people even get this reference right now, bruh, bruh. <laughs> right? Golden Boy was my shit. <laughs> I, saw, I saw that and I was like, shit. Golden Boy got me in trouble. Oh, Golden, I bet it did. I bet Golden <laughs> Boy did get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah, no, Golden, that's awesome. That 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 is super niche. There's also like an old anime, so you would have to have either seen it when it first came out or like just like right yeah. came across came random, across it. yeah, or, or saw you know, the meme, wanted to know where it came from. Or you know your torrent was the torrent that you actually hey. downloaded. That's happening to me <laughs> multiple times. Hey. So like, I thought this was gonna be Dragon Ball Z. It's La Blue Girl. You know, like that's. You know. Yo. You know. I fell victim to that. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Specifically me too. La Blue Girl. Specifically La Blue Girl. So, yeah. Yes. I yes. have never oh. fallen victim to that. I have. I have. I have. You know, I I, I, swear, I, I swear I downloaded Dragon Ball GT, the baby saga. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, my God. I've been tired for many years. Man, Bye. yo, ho, yo, ho. A pirate's life for me. Yo, <laughs> back in the day, pi- yo, back in the day, pirating, man, you don't understand. It was, it it was, was a different day. time. Yeah, it was a different time. My, yo, Peter. my brother... <laughs> My brother and my cousin, like, yo, we gonna watch this new anime. I'm like, what's that? La Blue Girl. I'm like, all right, cool. Gotcha. It, was, it was not. It got me. It got, I'm it like, got what me. the fuck? Yeah, yeah. He got you. He got you. He got you. He got you. Yeah. It was, it was bad. Yeah. Okay. So. But good, because I love La Blue Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Tell me about the which cosplay was it where you decided you were like, yo, I'm stepping all this up. I'm about to show off. It wasn't my cosplay. Because you show all too. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes, you do. You definitely show all. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, let me see. I would say, like I said, it wasn't my cosplay. I saw Yaya Han. Um, cosplay Daenerys from Game of Thrones. Okay, and right. I was like, "Oh, oh!" I I remember that. Yes, mm. and it was specifically the book version yep. because I'm a book reader, and I was like, "Wait a minute, this is the book version!" And mm. I was like, "Oh, oh, you can do that too!" And I was like, "Oh, up, 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 up." Okay, all right, let's. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. (laughs) So, so I know this might be a hard question, Mm -hmm. but do you have a favorite cosplay? Uh, mm. I I know it might be a hard one. Yeah. Um, I think I have categories, as in that's how I like rank them. Like I'll rank them based off of comfort or whether they're armor builds, which one I like the most out of my armor builds and stuff like that. Comfort wise, I would honestly say Louisa. Louisa from Encanto. Okay. She oh yes. Really Yo, I I loved it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Because as soon as yes. I saw I just thought about the song, I was like, and it looks like the community really fell in love with that one as well. I was so surprised because like, you know, I, I, you know, like specifically, you know, to, to give voice to the Latino community, the Colombian community. And, you know, it's just a character that I super vibed with. And I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to cosplay her, and I just so happened to look a lot like her. <laughs> so um, it works out. It works out. Um, and I just, I just like the movie itself in general. I love yeah. what that movie don't, saying. Don't, don't, don't get it started. Don't. Get it started. <laughs> I love that movie. Um, and so I had to do something from it. I don't think Luis is going to be my last thing. It's just my first thing from that. Um, and in terms of like cool factor, my Akuma. Yes, that's Yo, what- <laughs> that, I was waiting for that one. I like that's that's where I 
I found you at the Akuma. Oh, I'm like, oh, yo, she killed this Akuma. That's how I scrolling through your page. I'm like, oh, yeah, you got to follow her. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when we used to do our cosplayers of the week. When you came up, it was like, yeah, Akuma. Bam! Yo, yo that's probably one of my favorites was your Akuma. Thank you. Um, that's also something I didn't expect to, you know, take off the way it did. Because, you know, <laughs> like, you know, when you think about Street Fighter, you think, I feel like Chun-Li, like, it's like one of the first things you think about, maybe in Bison, you know. You, a lot of like, people are afraid to do Akuma. Yeah. I love villains. I am a fan oh, of villains. Man. And oh, so... <laughs> I, 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 a lot of people are afraid to do Akuma. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see M. Bison, uh, I'll see uh I'll see Dal Sim, but um it's so rare to see an Akuma. It's I don't know why. I, I really I don't know why. Um I understand necessarily me for me for gender bending Akuma. I understand there's a there would be less of that, but I don't know. I don't I mean Akuma is such a cool I feel like he's like yeah, an essential feel like they don't radiate the energy. Well, hell, I radiate that energy. I don't, I don't know what you heard. I don't know what you heard. It says what it is for me. I'm just Akuma like, is everything. pure black Air Force energy. Black, black Air Force pure, energy. Yes. Pure black Force. And, but with a code. He still has a code. And that's why I respect Akuma. Because like he's not going to fight nobody that's beneath him. He wants a challenge. Right. He, wants, right. he wants to be the best. And like his, the methods aren't necessarily the greatest. But like... <laughs> he does have a goal, and he does have an honor system, and I'm like, I can dig that. Also, you can't tell me he's not the coolest looking person in the right. game because he is. Um, and I just, I dig everything about him. And like I said, I'm a villains fan. Most of the time, villains get better dialogue. They have the better outfits. Yep. Yep. Um, their backstories are better. It literally is all based off how they're trying to achieve their goal. That's literally which which it. Which, which reminds me, I'm going to pitch it to you right now. I'm mm. planning an episode where we're talking about char uh, character fashion. I want okay. you on it. Sure. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. No problem. I'm down. I'm yes. down. But yeah, I'm a villains fan. I like villains. And hey. um, I, I think I have a good villain laugh. So I think it complements my cosplays when I do that. Well, you know Can you got to do the laugh now. Right. Hey, you know you got to do it now. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> definitely. Okay. <laughs> No, I, say, I know, cut, I know, demon cut engine. That part out, <laughs> gonna use that for the back end. <laughs> yeah, right. But hey, we're gonna take, we're gonna do a quick thirty second break. We'll be right back. This is the American Junkies with Tranquil Ashes. All right, and we're back. <laughs> so let's get into the meat and potatoes of why you here. Your cosplay gala that you're throwing. Yes, September 17th. Uh, be more Maryland. Be there. Be square. Um, it's my baby right now. It's my project. It's um, my thing for the community to get creatives and artists together. Um, for a night of networking and celebration and just, just fun, like something different, something that's not a convention, you know? Right. Um, and I've been inspired by a lot of things in my life to, to, to bring this kind of thing to the community. And, um, I'm hoping it, uh, does the community good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, right. I'm really excited Wait. to see how it works out. Definitely. And I also love the theme so so much. Thank Cyberpunk. You. Cyberpunk. Yes. yes. Oh, that I has mean, been his game. The idea is to push 
ideas. The idea is to, to, to think outside of the parameters in which you're normally given, which is why I'm like, okay, the theme is cyberpunk. What can you do with that? Can it be an original character? How can I make Goku cyberpunk? How can I make, um, you know, I don't know, Lelouch cyberpunk? Mm -hmm. You know, any of those things um, gets you to think, like, how would that, how would they function in a world like that? How would I tailor my fashion to something like that? So it's like a combination of costuming and fashion. So it's a little avant-garde, I suppose, but like that's kind of how I think when it comes to a lot of my my own costuming, because I'm not sure if people notice, but I don't necessarily replicate costumes. No, I tend to put my own spin on them, but make it recognizable. So I think that's kind of like the goal. And then of course, just to have a bunch of creators and artists in the same place and supporting locals as well as other creators that aren't local as well, you know? So that's that's the goal of this gala. Nice. Amazing. Thank you. So, <laughs> no, no, go ahead, boss. Uh, so I mean, I got a question. I'm pretty sure you're not going to answer, but what are you going as? Or um, <laughs> or, I or that going to be a surprise? Going to be a surprise. It's going to be so niche. Nobody's going to get it anyway. But like, it's going to, <laughs> it's going to be so niche because nerd here. But um, once I explain it, people are going to be like. Oh, just, just when, whenever a photo goes up of it, post it with no explanation because <laughs> I know I'm going to know what it is. Okay. I'm, All I'm, right. I'm, I'm gonna, telling I'm, you. It's I'm telling you. It's going to be I'm telling you. I'm, it's gonna be. <laughs> look, look, listen, he'll tell you. I'll remember something really obscure from something maybe three people remember. You'll, so you never know. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> So, so why did you choose the theme for Cyberpunk? Um, I think the future kind of is a big thing right now. Like the the shape of it, what it looks like now, um, and like technology is is crazy right now. Right. Um, and also another big example, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven did come out. Um, that is his favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven definitely came out. It's yeah. also such a it, the the aesthetic can it's stretch cool. in so many different ways, and in the game you definitely see it, it see it in different. I'm I am, I ain't mean cut in. I'm sorry. No, but you're you, good. <laughs> but just in the game, you see you see the differences between how the Black Caribbean community is cyberpunk, Japanese community cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. The Latinos are heavy in gold and silver in their cyberpunk aesthetic. The uh, Corpos, corpos have a sleek, solid design to them. Street kids, their their attitudes as reflected in their clothing and all mm -hmm. over the place. Mm -hmm. Yo, so like you combo that, and then you combo that with Arcane, and you have my idea because ah, Arcane. I love Arcane. Arcane. I love Arcane. If you think of Piltover as well as the lanes, it is extremely. Yes cyberpunk influenced, mm -hmm. um, you know, like, you know, punk tech, a, a lot of those, like all mixed up together. And then in Piltover where all the rich people are, you see how like sleek their mm -hmm. like cybernetic enhancements mm -hmm. are, how, how their like technology works in a completely different aesthetic, but it's still cyber, like cyber tech. It's still the same thing. And so I was just like, this is exactly kind of like, the idea I'm thinking about, like, how can I stretch this idea into like fashion and vis invisibility in different characters? And I'm so excited to see what people come up with when it comes to that. That's like one of the most, that's like one of the most fun parts for me is right. to find out who, what they're going to do and how they're going to achieve the thing. I'm like, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm I'm definitely excited for the for the creativity of uh, cosplayers like you. Like, cause I'm it's so, gonna be crazy. I'm Thank slowly you. putting I'm slowly putting something together. I don't think it'll be ready for Cos Gala, but you'll see it. I'll see it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm excited for it. Big shout out to Etsy. I love y'all so much. Oh, Etsy's a real one. It's a real one. Yeah. Yeah, because they specifically have like the cyberpunk makeup wire pieces for faces. I was like, and I'm slowly learning makeup. Slowly. Ooh. I, I gotta I gotta learn how I I mean I can't depend on everybody. I gotta I'm gonna have to learn how to do it myself. Eventually, man. Like to get like especially if you're doing like superheroes and all the other stuff, there's a lot of makeup going on. A lot of makeup going on. I but I, I mean, I believe in you. You got it. You got it. What's been your most difficult cosplay to pull off so far? Mm. This is going to sound crazy, um, but I can't say the word difficult. I would just say time consuming. Okay. Um, I haven't done anything that I've given up on yet. So. I, I assume that I can achieve anything I'm going for. Um, but in terms of like stretching my skill set, definitely Rose Court stretched my my skill set quite a bit with the armor building. Yeah. Because with like, I was using materials I had never used before, like Warbla and all these other like specific crafting materials that I either I didn't have access to before or they're extremely expensive. <laughs> um, like for like one sheet of warble is like $65. And I'm Ooh. like, yeah, Ooh. yeah. So it's for an armor build, you're talking like seven, eight pieces. And that's just, that's just that. <laughs> it's not paint. It's not any accessories. It's not your prop. It's not your wig, your 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 shoes is not none of those things so like by the time you get to all the materials you're like five hundred dollars in the hole so mm -hmm. um thankfully you know that that kind of pushed me into foam building more and i would say i'm definitely more of a foam builder but i do a lot of mixed media I, I, if it works together i'll put it together Right. <laughs> You'll make it work. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. I mean, basically, cosplayers are like mini MacGyvers. We all find like figure out how to like make something work that would like. Oh, that's a shampoo bottle. What can I turn that shampoo bottle into? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're all like that. What's your biggest inspiration? Hmm. That's hard. Um, <laughs> See, that's uh, hard. every once in a while, I got, I, I got, I got hit him with those. Ugh. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to kind of like a. Oh man, that's okay. Zena <laughs> again. I want to <laughs> go back to scenes. Um. Because I really feel like Xena started like a lot of things for me. Like one as a fantasy person, seeing a woman in a lead role was a big deal. Um, and, and then a woman in a lead role that wasn't doing stereotypical woman lead role things. You know what I mean? Like she was you. a warrior. She was also feminine. She was also she didn't take no ish. You know Damn, she was. Sure sexually free she um she traveled she had like she just got to experience a lot of things and i was like that's what i want for myself so mm -hmm. i think ever since i've seen that show that's been my goal like i want to be strong i want to be free i create my own spaces um and i travel a lot like traveling or as much as i can these <laughs> these days right Right. Um, Cause you know, ooh, it's kind of crazy going outside these days. Um, hey, hey, but, but you did get on that Star Trek cruise, though. I did. I did. <laughs> I'm, yeah, and that was a wonderful. I love the cruise. Um, I'm at 23 countries. I plan on adding more to those lists. Yes. So, you know. <laughs> oh, get there. Yeah. So, 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 what did you think of a uh, Japanese fashion when you was over there? Oh, it's great. It's great, and all of it's just so small. 
Um, but it's great. It's great. Like, um, it's it's like they're simultaneously in the past and in the future at the same time when it comes to their fashion. Like, mm. and uh, like all the unnecessary baubles, like the zippers and the like the the keys and all that all that extra stuff that you see in Final Fantasy video games mm. is on their clothes. And I'm like, that's so cool. That's so cool. Nice. Um, but you know, like I, they've always, I think they've always had a very like forward thinking um view on fashion personally in my opinion when it comes to japanese fashion mm. Mm. okay so do you plan on going back absolutely uh, yes oh yes, yes yes the goal is 2024 okay mm -hmm. so what's one of the top things you love you love to do while in japan that you cannot get that you cannot do here that i cannot do here Or they just do it different and they you love it. it. Okay. Well, karaoke. Hey. For sure. Like, there's a karaoke place. It's That's like every corner, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's like kind of going like before a pandemic, it's kind of like going to the movies. Like, somebody will go to karaoke like once a week or twice a week. It's like a normal, like going out, like and hanging out with friends. Affair, whereas it here, like karaoke is pretty specific. Like you're like aiming to go to karaoke, or you stumbled into karaoke somehow. Right. That's kind of how it happens here, but over there, all the time. Regular, like regular, like going to karaoke, which was fine for me because I was a, a really big chorus kid in high school, so I liked going to karaoke. It actually ended up getting me a couple of places in Japan. I ended up singing at a wedding. I did a concert. I did two shows. <laughs> it was, I ended up doing a lot of things based off singing in Japan. I played a villain um, in my play. <laughs> <laughs> I played a villain. We did um, a Japanese American um, rendition of The Wizard of Oz. Oh, and, um, wow. I played the Wicked Witch of the West. Nice. Oh, my <laughs> and it was a musical. So I got a big old villain song. And, you know, you got to love the villain songs. And I got a standing ovation. So it was good times. Oh, wow. Is there, is, is there any video or pictures of that? There is video evidence. Not that I feel like I'm ever showing. <laughs> <laughs> but there is video evidence. There are pictures. Um, but yes, there is evidence of this happening. <laughs> yeah. If you if you ever just want to slide that across your page for like 15 minutes or so, <laughs> just slide it, tag us, and then and then take it down. Whoever whoever didn't get to see it, didn't get to see it. See it? <laughs> Fair. But listen. Listen, we are so happy to have you in today, but we're just at the wrap up point. Mm -hmm. But I have you coming through on the Geek Report, and that that's going to be a whole different bowl, and it's going to be a grand old time. Everyone, I want to make sure you guys take the time out. Make sure you're checking out Tranquil Ashes. Check her out on the gram, same as Facebook, and she def she definitely has a YouTube page that you can check out. <laughs> I do. Also, if you plan on going to the gala, we're gonna put her information in the description below. It's been our YouTube podcast page. Uh maybe you'll see us there. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> and of course, we always want to thank our listeners for tuning in today, especially if you're out there listening to us in podcast version. We always appreciate you guys. You guys are out and about, and you're letting our voices roll around in your head. And for you folks out there on YouTube, we want to thank you for sitting down and watching us, checking us out. Hopefully you're subscribed. Hopefully you hit that like button and that bell button so you can get alerted for more stuff from AmeriMe Media. Please take care of yourselves and each other. Demon Engine, Comic Boss, and Tranquil Ashes, it's been absolutely fun. <laughs> I can't wait to have you back again. Yes. Thank you for coming. We definitely appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Peace, Take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. Bye. Hi, everybody. This is Corey Salter True Floyd for Mary Media, and I hope you enjoyed this podcast video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out our other videos right over here. You have a good one. See you around.